In the top left corner of the political compass, we can see Chuche. Now, what the hell is Chuche? It is the official ideology of the WPK, the Workers' Party of Korea. And since the WPK control everything in the DPRK, that makes Chuche the state ideology of North Korea. Ever since Korea has been split in half, North Korea was heavily dependent on the help of China and the USSR. But the WPK later purged pro-Soviet and pro-China elements from the party. Kim Il-sung, the very first leader of North Korea, must have realized how unwise it was to rely on other countries. Because Chuche is all about self-reliance. In the beginning, the ideology was described as a variant of Marxist-Leninism. But now, the WPK considered Chuche to be a complete separate ideology than Marxist-Leninism. Chuche claimed that the only way for a country to achieve socialism, that country must be be self-reliant, meaning that it must be politically, military, and economically independent. Political independence just means that the country should not yield to foreign pressure, although it does proclaim that political cooperation between socialist states is acceptable. Economic independence means having a strong economy that is not affected by the opinion of other countries. For example, if your country economy is heavily based on import or export, it only needs other countries to put sanction on you to drive your economy in the toilet. A good example of this is Russia, who got like a bajillion sanction after their invasion of Ukraine, which did hurt their economy a lot. Kim Il-sung didn't want a situation like that. For him, the nation economy need to stand strong on its own. This concept of economic independence is the reason why North Korea is so adamant on receiving foreign aid, which the WPK has described as poisonous candies. However, Chuche does not exclude economic cooperation between socialist nations. Military independence means having a strong military to defend the socialist nation. It does not exclude receiving military aid from other socialist nations, but it does specify that the military has to stand strong on its own. If there is one thing that North Korea is known for is how much they don't fuck around with their military. While their military tech is far behind the likes of the United States, they rank first with the most military personnel per capita with around 30% of the population being in the military in some way. And they are constantly developing their nuclear armament. They are so hardcore about their military that the second leader of North Korea, King Jong-il, enacted Sun Gun. Sun Gun? Sun Gun? Sun... I don't know bro, I'm, I'm not Korean, you know. An ideology that elevated the North Korea military as the most important institution inside North Korea. However, in 2021, King Jong-un announced that the military first policy of Sun Gun will be replaced by a people first policy. But don't be fooled, North Korea is still a heavily militarized country nonetheless. Alright, that's all well and good, but how is the worker supposed to achieve political, economic and military independence? How is the DPRK supposed to achieve self-reliance? Well, it's simple, they need to follow the great leader. Unlike Marxism, which prescribed that someone's decision-making are influenced by their relation to the means of production, Chuche has a much more simple way of thinking. It believed that man is the master of everything and decide everything. The popular masses are the drivers of history, but the masses need to follow the great leader. The great leader is the only legitimate representative of the will of the working class. The great leader is this benevolent, kind person that only want what's best for the working class. I swear this is fucking true. The great leader just want what's best for you. So do not worry, citizen. The great leader knows how to attain socialism. All right, he got this shit all figured out, okay? You do not need to think, you just need to follow the great leader. And if you ever dare to criticize him, then that makes you an enemy to socialism, communism, and the state. And you must be dealt with.